What is up, Realist? Hopefully you guys are having a great day. Today, we're just finding a spot. If you can't hear, there's a road really close to here. And this little spot is kind of tucked away off that road. I was driving down the street, saw a little patch of gravel where obviously people had been parking, and there was obviously a trail back here. So I followed the trail back here and found this amazing little spot. There's a small creek that runs just in this way, and it's not very wide. Um, I threw a worm in there already and already caught one really decent sized bluegill. Check out the Instagram page if you want to see that picture. I'm going to post it up later today before I get this posted uh, video. But um, we're going to get back out here. we got some crickets. we got some live worms. we we'll be rocking the bobber. I'm going to be trying to use some inline spinners to see if anybody bigger is hiding in here. But uh, we'll see if we catch anything. We're going to just get on the reel, have some fun, hopefully catch some awesome fish. Hang on tight. Let's get on the reel. All right. We've got a cricket hooked up. We're going to do our first cast on a cricket. I did already catch one on a worm. So we're going to see if anybody's... Oh no, i got a terrible wind knot. Hold on a minute. There we go. Alright. <laughs> um, catch one on a cricket. First cast. Let's see. Well, take a lot longer than I expected it to, for sure. That's how fast I got bites on the worms. Let's go back up over there. I usually catch one. I usually like to like hold on to it and show it off. It's like, nah, that thing was caught so fast and easy. I'll be able to catch a ton of them right here. Not so much. I have to switch back over to the worms. Well, well, well. Curious, sir, and curious, sir. All right, last cast. All right, realist, fished for about an hour here. That one fish that you should see on Instagram, I'll go ahead and post a uh, picture of it here. So at least see, so you can't see a fish today. <laughs> but um, fished here for about an hour with nothing else other than that first catch when I first got here. That first one caught bit so fast, I thought today was gonna be just a fire day and everything was gonna be going just right. We got slightly overcast, beautiful day. It's been warm for the past couple days, but just didn't pan out today, so. It's amazing how just a couple days can make an area change so much. Like I said this was just three days ago. I was here last time. And this whole area was kind of full. All right, we're gonna start off with a worm. <clears throat> I'm gonna try to come out here in what looks like it might be the deeper, deeper section of this area. Just gonna hope I don't sink down in this mud some rocks here so I'm kind of, kind of hoping it'll firm up a little bit when I get out this way I guess I'm gonna try to go out here where it looks a little deeper see if there's anything biting so we're gonna start off with a worm if we can find some bites then we'll probably move um, into a shallow crankbait and see what we can find it is chilly today kind of wild how it went from being super comfortable to just being chilly like look at all the there's a ton of bait out that way yeah coming over here today i was expecting to find higher waters and a lot more muddy but uh it doesn't seem to be the conditions i met with so all right we're gonna shift gears we're gonna go to a creek but let me you guys know, do you think this place is going to be a hot spot or maybe not? Because I really like the way it looks. I like the way it's tucked away, but I'm not sure if it's going to fish or not. So let me know. This is going to be one of my awesome no catch videos, but I want to let you guys see this awesome spot. And you guys let me know what you guys would have fished here if you guys came to fish. So hopefully you guys have a great day, great night, great morning, whatever it is, wherever you are. Hopefully it's awesome. Hopefully you guys get a chance to get on the reel, do some fishing, no matter what. 